Hey, how y'all doing? And welcome to my channel, Pony's Tarot. And Sagittarius, you feel really good about the decision that you made by standing your ground and putting your boundaries up to the people at work, to the people around you, your family members, relationships. And you still probably have some people that want to play in your energy. And this is showing you how important you are. Because I really feel like these people are just bored. And they're not making any progress really in their life that they are satisfied with. Yeah, you're getting some kind of justice. So the overall energy is you standing your ground. The theme for this month is to keep feeling fulfilled and happy. When it comes to your feelings. Not only when it comes to what you're doing, but how you psychologically feeling healthy with this new beginning you feel like there is nothing for you to search for in learning the truth because this person was probably quite blunt with you when they was devaluing you because they had interest of the wear you saw the change in them or they never treated you right because they thought they that you was an option they thought you wasn't going nowhere but the whole time I feel like even if you stayed or you seen it and you stayed anyway or you didn't know, maybe you thought this person was just a player. You didn't think that they had anyone stable in their lives. You still was balancing shit. Balancing your feelings. <laughs> yeah, you was not being defeated. Yeah, you got some kind of justice with cause and effect. You saw the way this person was talking and walking and moving. So you started doing your own thing. You probably mentally clocked out before you physically. Or you was both. And you was going with the flow. Or maybe you didn't have nothing better to do. Or you was working on you. But you was paying attention. Yeah, nothing was progressing. So you moved on. I feel like whatever justice that this karmic tried to get towards you by thinking because your person was with them, they were better dealing with the bullshit. Let me know they didn't recognize it at all. You recognized it regardless if you stayed or not or you dealt with it. But this person wasn't getting it. Now your person is... They see that they're going to be forced to move on. Because you can't be defeated. You balance with that temperance. You refuse to let people take you out your character. And you know when enough is enough if you have to step out of it. And it's not stepping out of it. It's standing your ground. Sagittarius is like a volcano. It takes a lot for us to erupt, though. We don't erupt a lot. That's why we don't care to go there. When people know how to fight, when people know who they are with their temperance, you don't let anyone just quickly take you out your character. You understand the situation a lot better than these people do because they don't believe in anything with those cups. Psychologically, they could be sick. You don't know if these people take a medication or they um, don't know how to handle their outside life very well. Yes, what did I say? Communication. Is this showing up? Huh? Root chakra. You wasn't playing any games. You moved the fuck on. The rope chakra. <laughs> yes, honey. Communication, throat chakra, root. Talking like you walk it. The ability to exchange information in many different forms. With that communication. Root chakra. Stimulate passion and support our sense of security on the physical plane. Yeah, you prepare yourself 
to move on when you was with this person or preparing yourself for better things. Whether you let this person go or not, you went on. Throat chakra. Support our self-expression and our sense of peace and balance. What a beautiful thing, honey. Honey. Honey, let's see what these people are thinking. Or what you're thinking about yourself. Let me know if you want to energy read with me. Description box. Community board. When you get the information, cash at me with your number and I'll uh, text you fast to set up an appointment or it can go faster if you do it that way instead of emailing me. But either way, you could do both. God damn it. Y'all do not feel like picking up these cards. Yes. Scoop them right back up. So let's see. Yes, what did I say? You over there looking independent. Self-realization. Looking single. Looking beautiful. Using your intuition. Getting messages delivered to you with that bird. Green new beginning. Not only in the air, in the sky is that new beginning. But under your feet, that dark green. You moving. Foot chakra. What situation in your life do you need to walk away from an emotional disconnect? You don't have those things in your life. You're balanced with that eight. The thing for the month is to stay happy. This is confirmation. When With those other cards, I check the energy to see if it changed. You're really happy about the decisions you've made and how you moved with it. Yes, you know you have options. Variety of choices. So we can have this karmic or someone want to get justice with you, but they're going to be forced to get in that chariot and get the fuck on, boo. I went do my morning jog. I woke up pretty early. It felt good to get out the way. I didn't eat breakfast already, had my omelet. I'm going to just relax. Took a bath. What? Cherry. Yeah. Whoever these people that's trying to get justice towards you. Family members work. They don't stand a chance. You're moving too high in vibration. Yeah. What did I say? Whatever conflict. These people cannot emotionally move away. Or you moved away from it. Because you have options. <laughs> say you are so happy to be moving on what are you passionate and motivated about in your life seven what to embrace what you want to imply to others you see how you balance so this male figure could be a fire air sign or this person's feeling a lot of passion and loyalty having the courage with that leo aries standing like a soldier this person probably feel like they have the tool the they're, they're going by their intuition and this is what i was saying when i was getting ready for this reading this person i could feel them going by their intuition yeah they want to come to you with peace and harmony come to common waters make that money with you they want to get on the bandwagon you over there looking for opportunities or making choices variety so you have somebody could be this karmic I feel like since you since your slot is here, you're doing your own thing, and so is this person on the outside. But the one in the middle, 
cannot balance with that eight their feelings. What else is eight? Everything around you is, in, is falling into place as it's meant to be. These people, shit is falling out of whack with their feelings. Could be the what's deep within their meanings with those wants while you over there selling on. And so does this person want to. You want to move on and you getting lucky. You've been moved on and you getting lucky doing it with that seven. Virgo, you have good judgment. Counselor, you putting in the work but you also feeling it cancers feel a lot of things a lot of people think that cancers are empaths and they're not not all of them they just have a lot of emotions which means to me what i'm trying to say is that um empaths uh try to do the right things just because you got a lot of emotions don't know don't mean you know how to balance them so that's probably why you moved on from these people. But you have someone, a water fight sign, or you could be uh, balancing your masculine energy going to common waters with the six, with that money, honey. With your heart and intellect, with those swords. Yes, you're seeing the bright side of things. So you have a Scorpio Taurus. That Scorpio did they detective work. Two fixed signs, Taurus, staying on it, focus. See you moving on. Are they looking at you as prosperity and growth? Good luck. This fire sign, air sign is looking at the positive, the light of things. Yes, honey, honey. You looking good over there at working on your community or whatever you do. You got it going on. And these people see that law of attraction. Yes, honey. Let's talk about the money. What did I say? Toxic work environment. It's where you're probably having conflict with people. And they could be having conflict within themselves. You could have had someone that was your friend and they was talking about someone else and now they didn't got with that other person and that other person don't even know that they're helping their enemy play with you that other person probably don't even know or this other person remember these people both didn't probably like you where well, are they don't like you now but at some point both of these people know you're really a good person both of these people know that there's a good fucking reason why you don't fuck with them and that's because they cannot balance their emotions yeah your life is like a vacation or you on your vacation and you've been preparing your credit or you have credit repair which means you've done your part with these people it's no question about why you're moving on with this big ass cup. <laughs> Ace of cup. Yeah, people at your work job is in debt. That uh, fell under a uh, toxic work environment. These people are not happy. Yeah, you, your life is like a re uh, vacation and the receipts are there. You show it, not just probably... Uh, materialistically but you show it in your attitude you probably a routine person and you haven't cracked with that credit repair you was doing good when you were dealing with these people they had an up close look at you and now they can look at you far the fuck away nothing's gonna change and you've probably have uh changed your bosses and you have a better boss now and they probably don't even know they came right in time to help you or be there for you when you're going through this bullshit they probably don't even know they probably changed your location or you probably can't talk to them and you didn't feel probably that way or you don't probably feel like it's necessary to even bring this bullshit to them so you got somebody that's looking at their receipts that's in debt. Yeah, credit repair. Creativity. Honey, honey. Third on the create um credit repair. You're doing good with yourself. 
or you did good by these people, yeah, they gonna be unemployed or they don't keep a job. They could need a second job. Not hiring. Huh? So somebody been sitting on their ass like it's a vacation. And now they looking at the shit that they have not accomplished all the time they've been wasting. Now they trying to get up and look for a job. You doing you're in a toxic work environment. And these people are in debt or the way they spend their money is on bullshit and they trying to they going to be unemployed pretty quick cuz that shit going to come up on them what goes around come around, right? This shit going to come up on them. Unexpected in expenses you could be having. Unexpected income, excuse me. So you could be working overtime or getting to your craft or just budgeting. Keeping up with your receipts. You probably the one got a second job. Who knows? Yeah, but there's a lot of insurance. Which means these people don't have no second doubt about you. They just choose to. Probably making up stories about you. Need to get a damn life. They trifling. Cosmic insight. Ooh, those did pop out. Yeah, you're around some people that are liars. Or somebody's lying on you to get some kind of upper hand on you. Some liar is going through a breakup. So these people can be going through breakups in their relationships at work. These people could be um, comparing their spouses to you or just going through shit at work. Maybe they spouse lost their job. Or they're fucking around at work with other people. Somebody lied and now they're going through a breakup. Remember that justice card? Somebody don't have a choice but to get in that chariot. And emotionally disconnect. What we talked about, someone that's at a distance from you or emotionally at a distance from you. Or this could be you emotionally distant from your person because you with that big ass cup. Yes. <laughs> date nice in reverse. So whoever this person tried to date after you, or the these people that they these people that wanna fuck with you at work, your family members to your neighbors, they going on dates with liars. Dates are in reverse. <laughs> or they just shacked up with liars. They didn't got married to liars. Somebody's going through a breakup. Let's see what's going to fall under that. Give it time. <laughs> Every, let things flow. When it comes to these dates. So this person could be dating people. And trying to find someone else or just going on dates, moving, trying to move on with their life. And they're trying to let things flow, but it's not going good for them. They're going through breakup after breakup with these relationships. Or it's probably no date about when you need to let things flow when it comes to these people losing their jobs or they're going to quit the job or they're going through shit. They in debt. Maybe they not right now, but they will be. Maybe they'll be behind on their rent. Their cars might break down. They probably can't afford to fix it. They might go through things with their kids. What did I say? A challenge is coming through, boo. So the challenge is going to be when your person break up with this person, you don't want them to come at you like you a rebound or like you Captain Save a bitch a hoe. So just let things flow. Yeah, this person probably lived... Your, uh, it says you and your partner be physically or emotionally distant, and that's going to be the challenge. There's no process going on. 
This person was not being cautious. They were trying to hurry up and replace you or they needed somewhere else to live, boo. Maybe the person that they dealing with, they don't want to be with them. And so they just trying to hop from person to person and they need to slow down and let things flow. They not going to have a choice but to go sit down. Unless they want to keep going through things that's not going anywhere with these lying ass people. Yes. Patience. What did I say? This person needs to sit down. Patience in reverse. This person have no patience. They trying to move on too quickly. And they could also be going on dates with people. And they're lying about their breakup with the other person. That they are emotionally disconnected from. And see, they want to move on so fucking fast that they probably not even giving the other people time to get to know them either. They looking for a straight dummy and it's a challenge. Yeah, they've been traveling their asses off and not being cautious, not being patient. Not manifesting shit. Please like and subscribe, leave a comment, and let me know what's on your mind. So let's jump into updating this old energy. Ooh, these nails. Oh, I had too much going on. It was sitting on a box. I was trying to pick up the box, too. Not paying attention, boo. But yes, let's see what the update is energy and watch this person so quick to want to move on and find some dummy to play with. They already had one. And now that dummy wants to get some kind of justice. Now they have to move on. And that's your justice as well, right? Because you are over there happy with the decision you made. You don't need to look for the truth. You already know what's going on. You seen this on Jerry Springer. <laughs> type of shit. Yes, this person is going to have to be forced to be emotionally intelligent. They're going to be forced to mature. They're going to be forced to be emotionally stable. <laughs> oh, that's what they're going through. They're using their third eye and they're seeing that these people are nothing like you. Yes, they got to balance shit. <laughs> That's what they've been doing lately. Financially stressed. Partners. They're in the maybe zone with these people because they know these people are lying or they're using their third eye. Third eye came out again, friend. They moving with this Capricorn temptation on Jupiter, the biggest planet. Prosperity they trying to get. They was trying to get, that's the update on the last, the past energy of what's been going on, yes. Marriage, partnership. So this person is going to be uh, forced to be mature. And I feel like that's, uh, even when it comes to their children, they're going to have to move with harmony. Or this person is trying to balance. How to be mature and recognize and use their third eye so they can get ready for marriage. It's like spirit is trying to uh, boost this person up. P putting a whoop ass on them about these things that they choose to be in. So they trying to balance their emotions. Yes, we got 12 cups out here. 12. Okay. What is 12? Balance, harmony, growth, and enlightenment. That's what they gonna have to do. Juggling life, juggling money. And they trying to make financial decisions, right? They have clarity about this new idea. They have clarity about the communication, about these people lying to them, 
on these dates in reverse. They can have people trying to just move them in because they need financial security. They can have people moving them in, knowing, wanting to hurry up and move fast with them because they trying to replace someone else. They can probably tell that these people just rotate people like they were doing. Your person getting some kind of mental clarity, breakthrough, visions, focus. <laughs> yes, honey, you over there got clarity with this abundance. You're over there being flexible. <laughs> That's why I seen Jupiter pop out. That's your planet. You making good uh, judgment with this Virgo, and that's what you've been doing. Yes, confessions are coming out. Look, uh, my camera just made a beat. Turning over a new leaf is what they want to do with this marriage or this union. Yeah. Huh. While you over there sitting in abundance and been sitting in abundance or budgeting your money, honey, this person is starting to budget. Financial security. They could be trying to move or see that these people are trying to hold on them to hold on to their financial possessions. And they have clarity with the communication with that sword. Yeah, and now this person holding two cups, balance. Or learning. And it's becoming burden. Or you over there doing a lot of shit on your own. You're on duty. <laughs> You're taking on, you was taking on too much. And so was this person if this is a twin flame connection. Now they in regret. So they probably got married or jumped in a, a common law marriage or a long term relationship or want to get married. And lies and shit started coming out. These people are frauds. And now they ask to sit over there and regret. That's what happened. They fraud too because they thought they, they could pick this person to probably do what they want to do. Or it was that kind of relationship where the more shit... I put you through, you must love me type of energy. Or, you know, we had a person, I ain't gonna go into too much details, but uh, my boss, man, we were talking to this guy and he started talking about gay people. Then he started talking about down low. And this didn't have anything to do with uh, us or the subject or the situation, nor was it appropriate. But that man sat there boldly and was like, I don't have no kids. I live on my own. I this and that. And then he turned around and said he had a baby on the way. You got to pay attention to what people say. They will tell on themselves. And that's what your person is seeing. That these people are not being patient to lie to them to get what they want like they were. Maybe your person did not lie to you. You probably just seen they wasn't being committed to you. You probably seen that they wasn't explaining to you really where they were going. They was taking too long to call you back or not answering you, not calling you back. Because this person was trying to be uh, committed and trying to put their energy into people that was lying to them. Remember, they were devaluing you, being mean to you because they was liking someone else. That's usually what that means. Yeah. Your person is tired of trauma bonding. They see these people have no empathy. <laughs> I 
Now they want to come back home. At one time, it probably would fuck you. Get away from me. Or they probably want to see what you about or comparing you to these people. These people are triggered. Or your person could be getting triggered because it's burning. Dealing with people they taking on dates or they getting to know. And the shit ain't going nowhere. And the, with that date too, remember they probably don't know when this shit going to end, friend. <laughs> Instead of just being by themselves. But they have to go through the steps to get where you are. They have to think it, then do it. Everything's born twice. You had to think about what you want to do. You had to think and go through the hurt and pain. You had to go through the lies too. And you had to accept them. Yeah, you're not a narcissist. And you learn that these people have no empathy. Maybe every time your person talks to someone, they have a fucking problem. And they didn't have those issues with you. And let's get this correct, because someone needs to hear that most men are narcissists. Most men are narcissistic. I don't give a fuck how in, uh, enlightened he is or how important he is in this world or how successful his relationship is. What it is is he, he's some men... Not all of them that are narcissistic, because that's where it comes from. So if you're a woman acting narcissistic, you're acting like a goddamn man. Caveman energy, possessive, controlling. Every man wants a woman they can control. I don't give a damn if you're a man watching this and you think you're so nice. No, every man wants to know that they can control their woman. Or that they woman going to obey. So if you're dealing with a man that's in a successful relationship or you see a life coach or someone that's in a good relationship, he's smart enough to, to have picked a woman that don't need to be controlled. She wants to be controlled. And he gets that she knows how to submit. He gets that she don't have a lot of bullshit in her life and she's not with the dumb shit. And some men don't get that. They don't have to control a woman that chooses to be controlled. That know her role. So this person didn't get you knew your role. This woman didn't get that you knew your role. And she needed to know that a man wants control. <laughs> and it's not a bad thing. Especially if he want to guide you the right way. He's the leader, remember? So these people cannot put you, proud community, what the fuck is up? These people can't put you in the conspiracy because, what did I say? You've done nothing to them and you've walked away from them. What can they say bad about you besides you tried to help them? Besides y'all had some interesting, educating fucking conversations? Or that you was an example? You talking like you walking and you still doing it? So keep that shit in mind when you scared to let someone go and think that you're going to miss out. As a Sagittarius, your loyalty, everybody cannot be loyal. You're born with the shit. Yes, you're not a simp. You don't do shit for people that don't appreciate you. So these people had childhood trauma and was trying to trauma bond with you. And you're like, I'm not fit to argue with you, boo. I'm not your mom. I'm not your dad. I'm not them kids at home. I'm not that dude that pissed you off. Don't come to work or don't come to my house or don't come around me, period, putting shit on me that has nothing to do with me. Don't tell me I remind you or don't be having no goddamn flashbacks. <laughs> That's what I'm trying to say. <laughs> don't put me in the category. Hello. Yeah, you're not jealous. Come on, I hope. My camera says it's about to stop recording. 
so let me hurry up. I think I've done the majority. Yeah, these people at work or someone that's hanging in the group that tried to talk shit about you and got people that uh, don't even know that they helping their enemy fuck with you. And you probably got into it with their asses too. Now you got a bunch of people that don't even like each other, but they have no reason not to like you. You're not trolling them. You don't need no therapy. You're not trauma bonding with them. But you see they have no empathy or you have no fucking empathy for them. But you don't have no hard feelings, friend. If the camera cut off, I hope it don't. Hope I get the majority of the cards out the way. Yeah, let's jump on this love. Because I feel like that's all we need. Will you leave me like the others? That could be your energy, Sagittarius. Are you so quick to move on? They probably think. So these people probably, your person, see, it's, excuse me, I'm just everywhere with that little part. But see, it's one thing that, yo, you didn't want to leave this person. This person left you no choice but to leave. I am scared of rejection. Yeah, so these people, your person been dealing with liars and putting up with it. Are you triggering these people at work? Because in some weird way, remember they have flashbacks or they're comparing you and they think that you're like other people that you're not. You are too nice. I don't deserve your kindness. That's what these people see. You don't deserve to be this nice to them or they don't understand why you're being nice to them. You have no reason. You probably one of them people that don't assume shit, so you let people show you. Because if you assume shit, then you will miss what they trying to show you. Or you will fill in the blanks for them or make excuses for it. So you sit back and let people show you what kind of dysfunctional person they are. And that's what you need to do. Everybody's people that are dysfunctional because... Good people make mistakes and they fix them. Dysfunctional people do not know they're dysfunctional. That's why they don't know what they need to fix. So understand that everybody, you're dealing with people, whether it's at work, family, neighborhood, you're dealing with people that are dysfunctional, but you have to allow them to show you what kind of dysfunction they are or how dysfunctional that they are. One person might be dysfunctional, different from that other person, but because they're all dysfunctional, they they getting along with each other, but they're not agreeing with each other. They really don't like each other. Dysfunction. You be wondering, like, how the fuck can you hang around people you don't like? <laughs> how can you get along with them? When you don't have empathy, you cannot be happy. Is it over? Will you leave me like the other ones will? Will you stop fucking up like the other ones do? This, pe this person is seeing a reflection of themselves when they go on these dates with these other people and seeing that you didn't deserve that shit. You was too nice. You was being too honest. And you wasn't being honest. You just was uh, taking shit for what it is. Especially if you... I mean, you're Sagittarius. doesn't matter what sex you are because this is a masculine sign. You... Think more with logic. I can't handle your love. You was never rejecting them. They made you reject them, subordinated themselves. They showed you what kind of dysfunction they were or what they were dealing with. What is the truth? <laughs> oh, Lord, what is the truth, Sagittarius? Want to know? Or they want to know, is it over? Maybe you confuse it to this person. They're not used to a person like you. No, you will not leave them like the others. You didn't leave yourself. This person been abandoning themselves, trying to get someone else to like them, or abandoning themselves, trying to make sense of dysfunctional people. Abandoning themselves, by not getting a job or taking care of their responsibility. You didn't do that. So what fucking more you need to prove that you don't abandon yourself? 
to be abandoning other people. They want to have sex with you. Because, baby, I'm feeling, feeling, feeling for you. <laughs> That's what just come to me. I can't leave you alone. You got me feeling. <laughs> Jody, see, I love his voice. Girl, I'm feeling for you. I don't know the words after the guy's been so long. Will this ever change? Why is it that you love me? You love this person because probably you see that they don't have to be the way they're acting. Or you understand that they've been through shit and they don't know what to do. <laughs> I'm the man. I'm the one man. Told you men are mostly narcissistic. And if you're dealing with a woman that's narcissistic, which is normal for the modern woman. Because she's been through shit where she couldn't be empathic. Life is teaching men how not to be empathic while they were teaching women how to be nurturing with the kids and honest and doing all these other things. So, you know, the man was to just bring home the bacon. He was to provide it. So the man, life was a lot to me psychologically more, this is my opinion, more painful to deal with when he's going on the outside world, dealing with that shitty boss. Now that y'all women, us women are working, we get it, to, and other colleagues, to a woman, to me, life is harder when it comes to physical pain, like having those babies and going through um, menopause or going through different things with her body. Even if she couldn't have a baby or it was complicated or miscarriage or whatever or just having those things in mind, physically you was protecting yourself and this men had to protect themselves mentally. So now with the modern day things, we don't have to do that anymore. I am better with my mind than my heart. Let's do this. I hope this really helped you. Let me know. Leave a comment. Hope you have a good day. Going to have a good day. Or you fucking did. But I really mean it. What else we didn't pull? I think I pulled everything for you. Maybe I did pull the spiritual cards. I need to start putting these in order. But let's put at least three. This video is long enough. But something's telling me to keep going, y'all. Let your friends help you. I hope I am one of those friends that can help you. Love yourself first. Beautiful advice. That's what you've been doing. And honeymoon phase. Hey. Enjoy the bliss of the holidays together. Is that what this person want to do? Or maybe y'all will be talking. Or maybe you will be... Even more fucking happy by <laughs> alone. Let that resonate. If you want to have a personal read so we can see where you're going or what's really going on with you and this person more personally, then let's do it. I was going to do a twin flame tarot reading, but we just did. So I feel like your advantage is, is that you let your friends help you and that could be even yourself. Your disadvantage is loving yourself. Or this is a disadvantage to people. I'm doing options, advantages and disadvantage. Three. Advice, yeah, enjoy your life like it's the fucking holidays. Four, let's put out three more. What's another advantage? 
So this person, this is bandages that you love yourself and that they, that they don't have to control you. You know what to do or you don't need them telling you what to do as a man. You know your role. This could be the one for... With let your friends help you. Maybe this person friends telling them that you are the one. Or your friends. Five. What's the disadvantage? And then advice. <laughs> Wedding. Yes, because it said give advice after five. So the disadvantage that this person's gonna have is that you really love yourself. <laughs> But the also the disadvantage is because you're going to have to learn to know that men are narcissistic or this uh, man is going to have to learn to find a woman that already know how to play her role so that you don't have to control her. And this six, what's going to be the outcome? So three going to be... Three outcome is the honeymoon phase. Getting to know each other and it's going to be beautiful when y'all do. And the outcome for six. Option one and two. Entities and career. Getting that money, honey. And I hope that helped you and let me know if it didn't so I can do something else with you.